Radium Expo with another inventory video. And as you can see, it's a beautiful R33. Uh, you might be confused as I am. I'm looking at this steering wheel and I think it's an R34 steering wheel. But maybe it's just an updated R33 steering wheel. <laughs> Pretty sure this is the R34 steering wheel. Uh, but yes, full disclosure, I uh, just want to let you guys know that this car is uh, currently reserved. Uh, so not sure by the time, by whenever we actually have the inventory video posted. It could be gone or it could be still inventory or anything. Uh, just make sure to call our sales guys at that time and uh, you can check on the status of it or make an offer. Uh, but as far as I understand, like at, at time of arrival, it was already pending reserve. So uh, not sure of the status of this, but I am here to show you guys what really nice example of an R33 this is and currently in fifth gear very smooth on the uh, transmission um, I'm not sure if they upgraded the LSDs it felt a little bit more grippy one thing I did note though was that the brakes while the pedal feel is rather light the braking power is definitely there like these brakes are definitely uh, like uh, the calipers are doing a good job so like even right there, wow, just eased right into it and no problem with stopping power. So these brakes are definitely really good. Ah, but yes, another R33 GTR uh, with uh, some mild mods. Uh, for the most part, the interior is pretty stock actually. Um, I do have a Nismo shift knob and I believe this is an R34 steering wheel. I'm gonna go double check it once we get to the warehouse and uh, you know uh, do the comparison, but this definitely doesn't feel like an R33 steering wheel. Nice build though. So like R34 components are actually pretty nice if you throw them into 32s and 33s. Uh, but yeah, like if you see the dash here, uh, impeccable condition, just looking all good here. They got the little faux carbon. This is stock by the way, it's for the triple gauge. Front torque, um, I believe that's oil temperature and boost. So uh, we got water temperature right there and uh, we've actually got a pretty mild day, so all the temperatures are in spec, pretty normal. And uh, yeah, we do have an exhaust and an intake on here. I'm not so sure about the other tuning on here. Doesn't seem to be anything too crazy. And you can hear that whoosh, definitely uh, with that opened up intake, a lot better flow. Intake and exhaust does wonders for uh, getting this engine to breathe a lot better. So any of the RB series does a great job with just a few bolt-ons. And as you can see, just getting up to highway speed very smooth here, just cruising along. And uh, the suspension on here is actually really good. It's dialed in nicely. Um, we do have low profile tires on here, so I would expect it to be a little rougher, but um, it's firm, but not too rough. So that's actually really, Ride comfort is pretty important for a lot of people. I know if you're uh, going for your uh, top laps or anything on the track, you're not too worried about that. But uh, yeah, this one's not gonna rupture your kidneys. You definitely feel the road a lot better, but it's nice and responsive here, as you can see, just with a slight movement. Um, and I can feel every bump. <laughs> so uh, definitely really good here. RPMs, really no issues there, very smooth. And uh, yeah, that power uh, delivery there is actually really nice. And um, even at the high end though, it's not overly peaking, so it's not just like ramping up and throws in the in, into the back of your seat, just no, no, you're not getting any of that. It's pretty smooth, uh, especially between like that peak torque. Once you're getting around like 4,000 to 7,000 RPM, Sounds good, pretty smooth on the boost, so really good overall. Well, 
Now let's uh, head over to the warehouse. I'll show you guys the exterior. Really nice white on this uh, GTR and yeah, it looks pretty good overall. Uh, funny enough, the engine bay doesn't look too crazy, but yeah, we have a couple of uh, mods there, like I mentioned, and I'll show you that here in a minute. So let's just fast forward over to the uh, warehouse and I'll show you around. All right, so here we are going from the interior. You can see genuine GTR carpets here. And dash is in good shape right there. Do -do -do. Oh, sorry, hitting the microphone. So, uh, yeah, we got the decent mileage on here, about 113,000 kilometers. So uh, it's like, what, 65,000 miles or something like that, or 70,000-ish. And here we go with the gauges up close there. As you can see, front torque. So if you're uh, hitting a corner pretty good and uh, adding a little bit of gas, do a little bit of torque transfer, it pulls you through. Pretty good for that four-wheel drive. And the uh, oil and boost. So, uh, climate control. And uh, I believe this is OEM. It's just a CD deck. So, um, CD and I believe AF, AM, FM radio. So, good sound. Uh, pretty decent, actually, for a bass system. And here's your... Nismo shift knob there, Nismo sticker also, so in case you forget, <laughs> this is only five speed, not six. And here's the seats. Pretty good condition there. And I'll step out of here so you guys get a better view of the seat that I am sitting in is also good. So here we go. It's a little breezy today, so hopefully the mic still picks me up good. And yeah, see good shape of the uh, carpets there. And here I'll show you guys the back. Also in really good shape. No sag in the headliner there. And uh, try to show you guys a little bit more of the carpeting there. Yeah, even the back of the seat here, pretty good. So, uh, there we go, and here's the steering wheel here. Well, uh, all right, I did want to point out though that this steering wheel, as you can tell, is a little bit more aggressively styled there, a little bit more edge to it. And uh, yeah, it is an R34 steering wheel. The R33 one's a little bit more rounder, and the uh, airbag area is much more uh, rounded off, so pretty cool. I mean, I, I think it fits pretty well, don't you? And uh, so we'll get to the exterior and then I'll jump into the trunk and engine bay areas. And as you can see, this white paint is actually well taken care of. Looking pretty good. Clear coat's looking really good, as you can see with that shine. And uh, going around the back, as you can see, uh, we have uh, the uh, little bit of the side skirts and the, the rear skirt there, so very cool. Got a titanium burnt tip on that exhaust. As you can see, pretty fresh exhaust there. Larger diameter. It's got a nice mellow tone. Probably that resonator would have something to do with it. And the fact that it still uh, has its uh, catalytic converter, so unlike some of our other ones, this will be a little bit quieter. And all around, that trim's looking good. You got the AVS rims there. As you can see, Brembo brakes, slotted rotors. And as I was describing earlier, the pedal feel is not super stiff. So like you add a little pressure and the braking just works really well. And uh, a lot of you guys might describe this as a bit of a boat. Um, this certainly doesn't handle like it. It's pretty awesome there and the sticker's falling off thanks to the wind right now. So, <laughs> but uh, I will say that this is certainly a pretty comfortable ride. And uh, yes, there are coilovers on here. I'll show you once we get into the engine bay, but uh, whew, definitely got that really nice look. Whew. 
Yeah, it's a bit chilly there, but uh, here you guys can actually see the coilovers underneath there. We'll see it from the top, but uh, certainly I uh, think it's a little bit easier to see from this end. But uh, yeah, we do have a coilover system here. Oh geez, can't get that focus. Yeah, there we go. We got. Uh, we'll show you in the front. I'll jump into the engine bay now. And pop the trunk. You guys can see that as well. As you see, gently closing the door. No issues with that. The latches are all good. And so you can see the stock rear strut tower bar. Battery's just right behind there. And uh, yeah, actually, pretty good shape here. We got the, all the tools and everything. And the spare tire right there. See uh, more of the tools there. A little pouch that has like the uh, wrench and everything in there. And jack is right there on the side. And uh, let's just jump under the hood here. I gotta show you show you the uh, engine bay here. Check this out here. Get some numbers for you guys. Looking for more information on this model. And so there's the uh, chassis number right there. And as you can see, it's uh, quite OEM for the most part, except for the intake and everything there. So definitely. Uh, the usual here with the intake plenum where uh, some of that coating is starting to flake off. That's not unusual. In fact, that's actually not bad for this one. Typically, you'd see it almost bare with uh, a lot of higher mileage vehicles. It just kind of bakes and flakes off. And here we go with the air intake. As you can see, it goes down to the turbos. Gets compressed, goes up and around here to the front. And up and around here to the intake plan of more boom spool up those turbos and out the exhaust Whew. that's uh, the flow path there really nice and smooth and you can see it's actually in pretty good shape here uh, we got the tops of those coilovers so you can see the HKS logo uh, once it gets focused there yeah see so uh, pretty nice uh, I would definitely say this is a really good ride considering that those are uh, low profile tires and uh, coilover suspension. Um, definitely really good handling response. But a very comfortable ride on the way over here and I anticipate the same on the way back. Got the OEM cooling system there. And like yeah this is even in good shape too it's not falling apart like some. So uh, pretty good shape overall. But I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. Another fine R33 in the JDM Expo inventory. Uh, as I said before, this one is on reserve as of time of recording, probably gone by the time you guys actually see this, but we'll have the information up. If you've got any questions about this or any of the vehicles, just hit up our sales team info at jdm-expo.com. And, um, you know, actually, I'm not really sure by the time you guys actually watch this, so you could probably uh, ask about it or get an offer or find another one similar to this. Uh, definitely uh, ask Nakata, he can hook you up, and uh, he'll definitely be looking for some good deals for you. A uh, number of you guys have been checking out some uh, Type R's and other really cool vehicles. Definitely, if you guys like the EG or the DC2, just uh, definitely, those are getting harder to come by, but also really low mileage ones or anything in the hundred thousand kilometer ish is getting harder to find this one is really clean though i was actually surprised at the interior on this one and the r34 wheel was a nice touch so uh well all in all a really smooth drive this one was well taken care of so uh, uh if you guys are looking for anything customized though also hit up nakata and uh you know the other sales guys and they'll be able to let you know of your options and we can definitely find something that you're looking for uh, if you want something more modified or if you just uh, want to find something a little bit more stock definitely they got you covered well as always guys it's definitely getting a little bit breezy i'm going to be heading back to the office and i'll catch you guys in the next video take care